It's doll time! <gasps> I'm so excited, it's Easter, Ani! Me too! <gasps> look at the class, Elsie, it's so Easter! -y. It looks amazing! Look at this Easter art, it is adorable! Oh, and look at those cute Easter eggs and the paint! <gasps> Miss Tracy's desk looks amazing! Look at those Easter eggs, those little chicks! Aw, why do we have paint here? Today must be an art, art class! Yay! Oh. But not just any art class, an Easter art class. Oh, this is going to be amazing. Oh my goodness, look at all the supplies we have. How beautiful are they? And those little Easter, Easter eggs. eggs. Oh wow, look at even that easel and canvas. Oh, and those cute little yes. bunnies. These are amazing. All right, girls, I'm so happy to see you. Let's take a seat and then I'll get into the lesson, okay? Okay, okay let's go. Okay, everyone, I'm so happy to see all your smiling faces. As you know, if you wear the black, for today is our Easter art class. Yay! This class is so very artistic, so of course I had to do an Easter art lesson. The rules are very simple, just no messing about on purpose, try not to spill anything, and this should be an amazing class. Add some easels with some paint at your desk, so you don't need to grab anything. But if you do need anything, there's loads of art supplies on the pink table, so if you want to do some decorating, they're all there. Welcome for you to take. So our very first activity is going to be some Easter egg decorating. We're going to be turning our little Easter eggs into bunnies. And the next activity we're going to be doing is painting some Easter eggs. Then we're going to be creating some bunny hoppers, such a fun activity. And after recess, of course, we're going to be doing an Easter egg hunt. Yay! I love chocolate. Oh my goodness, it's going to be so hard. All right, shh. So we're going to go down the back for our very first activity. Okay, now that everybody has an Easter egg, you can decorate it whatever way you want. The only thing you have to do is put two ears in the side of your egg so they look like a bunny. But I have colors there and I have little eye stickers, so you can decorate it any way you want. Now have fun, everybody! Oh, yay! I picked the yellow one because it matches my dress. And I picked the pink one because I love pink. Oh, I love purple. It doesn't really match anything, but I still love it. I love your top, Ani. I think it's so cute. Oh, thanks, Elsie! I pick green because I'm like the Hulk, so strong and awesome, so cool. <laughs> and I pick blue because it's the color of Elsie's eyes. They're just so beautiful. I'm pretty sure the girls are going to make all the eggs sparkly and cute and girly. Let's make our manly different. Yeah, sure, let's do it. Okay, I'm ready to see the artistic genius from this class. Let's start with you, Jasmine. That looks adorable. Oh, thank you, miss. I made mine a yellow Easter egg bunny with cute little eyes and a cool button nose. I made a really cute pink one with a cute little smile and little googly eyes that I found. I love it. Adorable, Elsie. Oh, mine is a purple Easter egg with some cute little eyes and a cool face. That smile is amazing. And on to you, Chris. Oh, I made a Hulk egg, so it's green and it has big scary mouth and a big scary eyes. And it's a super, it's a mean, like, Halloween Easter egg that was so cool. Oh, I did the same too, miss. I made mine off like a fish monster. <laughs> um, uh... Okay, boys, um, I understand where you're coming from, and you may not be into cutesy Easter eggs, but Easter is a time of joy and love and happiness, not really Halloween monsters. So I understand your artistic uh, ideas and values, but we may need to redo those. Uh, let's move on. All right, everybody, so for our next activity, we're going to be doing Easter egg paintings. This is a little bit different. I'm giving you each a plain pink egg, and you are able to paint whatever design you want with it. But no evil angry faces, <laughs> just nice swirly patterns or dots or circles. Jasmine, here you go. Jasmine always has the nicest ideas and she always gets the prizes and wins the art competition. She's always our teacher's favorite when it comes to art. I'm not being mean, but maybe I should just take inspiration from what she's doing. I'll just move my chair. Perfect. I'll see everything. Okay. All right, everybody, I've left the paint on your desk so you can start whenever you're ready. Oh, I'm gonna do some cool purple flowers. Let's start. Do. Hmm, uh, I think I'm gonna go with a light yellow base because it'll match my dress and maybe, maybe purple or blue designs. Hmm, what did she say? Oh, she said yellow and, and blue and purple. Okay, I can start. Okay, it has been a couple of minutes now, almost 20, so I'm sure our egg should be finished up, and oh my goodness, these are just lovely! 
wow, I'm so impressed. You are my best art class. Okay, let's go through them individually. Let's start with Paul. I chose blue because it's my favorite color and the most beautiful girl I know has the most beautiful blue eyes and they're like shining stars, so I, I really like them. Okay, that's lovely, Paul. Let's move on to Chris. I get a pink egg because you know what? I like the color pink and the orange swirls were super creative. Yes, lovely Chris. Now, uh, Ani, I believe, is next. Oh, well, I decided to do something different, so I did a green egg with some beautiful purple flowers. That is absolutely stunningly artistic. I love it, Ani. You know what? I might even put it up in my classroom. It's absolutely beautiful. <gasps> Yay! <gasps> Jasmine has always been the super artistic one. I can't believe I get something up in her wall. And Jasmine next. Thank you. Um, I did basically the base of my egg is yellow and then I did like a dark blue navy acrylic paint swirl, stripes, and basically really artistic creative. And then I did a really nice kind of purple triangle um, squares and then of course some purple flowers for Easter. You never disappoint, Jasmine. This is beautiful. I also want to put this in my classroom. How stunningly wonderful. And Elsie? I didn't know she was going to get us to call them out. That one looks exactly like a copy, Jasmine. Oh no. Well, I actually found a picture online and took inspiration from my picture. So I have mm, dark, dark blue stripes with a purple design and a yellow egg. And uh, uh, Elsie, would you put your egg up against Jasmine's egg, please? Um, why? I, I don't know if I want to. It's just they look very, very similar. Uh, yeah, and Elsie, I started before you started. Why, did you copy my design? Oh, Elsie, you didn't, you didn't copy her design, did you? Um, uh, I, I'm sorry, it's just Jasmine's eggs are always so nice and so artistic and you always play favorites with Jasmine and I want to do something like her so you would like me too. Elsie, I don't play favorites in this class at all. I like everybody for their own artistic talents, even though they may be all different. I love everything you do, Elsie, so please, in future, do your own work and have your own creative flow and I like everybody the same. So, I'll let it decide this once, but I don't want any more copying. Okay? Okay, I promise I won't do it again. I'm sorry, Jasmine. Oh, don't worry, Elsie. If you want help, I can totally help you. <gasps> Thanks, Jasmine. You're the best. So next, we are going to be making these bunny hoppers. Here is a pre-made demonstration. They are absolutely the most adorable things you'll ever see. So make our way down to the carpet so we can do these. What is that scroll on your desk? Oh, um, this is the map for the Easter egg hunt. It's very top secret, so no looking, okay? Map for the Easter egg hunt. That could be used to my ability. Oh, oh, of course. I wouldn't dream of it, Miss Tracy. I know you wouldn't, Chris. Okay, everyone down to the carpet. Oh my goodness, these are so cute. Oh, I love my. I wow, love the I colors. Love your like carrots. And oh my goodness, oh, all the Easter eggs. Egg. So cute. Wow. Oh, I love the green one. Oh my goodness, wow. All right, everybody. <gasps> Those are adorable. I am so proud of you. You have done these so cute. Oh, let's start with Elsie. I love this green. It is so Eastery and so, so very spring. And the Easter egg in the hand is so fitting. Oh my goodness, Paul, that is a lovely one. You know, carrots, of course, are important for bunnies. Ani, that purple is gorgeous, so vibrant, absolutely stunning. Jasmine, of all, as always, beautiful. The color scheme, perfect. And Chris, what a lovely pink rabbit. I love them all. You guys have been so wonderful all day. I think you're really going to enjoy this next Easter egg hunt. Okay, everyone's gone. You know what? I'm sick of this class. Everybody in here thinks they're so cool, so awesome. I'm going to be the Grinch of Easter. I'm going to win everybody's Easter. Starting with their most prized possession, chocolate eggs. Okay, all I have to do is steal this little map from here. Okay, I have this. Now I just need to go to the garden where they're all hidden. Okay, she really was telling the truth. It's a map of where all the Easter chocolate is. Okay, but I only have 30 minutes for recess, so I need to go quick, quick, quick. Let's start finding them. The X's start here. 
Can you believe the stash I have gotten? This is incredible! Oh my goodness, this is so cool. If only Paul could see this. But I know, deep down, I can't trust my bro. He's too close with Elsie, I probably couldn't tell him. Okay, I need to put this somewhere safe. My locker, perfect, no one will ever know. Okay, I gotta push this back inside. Whoa. Whoa. Five minutes till break, okay? What? I remember me tying this map up in a ribbon. I better go check on the Easter egg and see if no one's moved them. Maybe some of the younger kids thought they were up for them. You believe it? Uh, okay, everybody. Um, oh, I need to talk to you all right now. Where's Chris? Where's Chris gone? I don't know. Chris hasn't come back in from lunch. Oh, is that so? Well, I have some very bad news. Oh, Chris, Chris, come here. I need to talk to you right now, the whole class. Uh, uh I, I can listen from over here if you want. I actually can't leave my, my locker. Chris, I need you to come to your seat immediately. I have some awful news. I, I'm sorry, I can't. I can't. Oh, no. oh, my goodness. Chris, you have got to be kidding me. Come to your seat immediately. Yes, Miss Tracy. I was just about to talk to the class as I, about the Easter egg hunt as they were all missing because somebody decided to take my map and not put the ribbon back on so I have caught them. I was then going to ask for whoever took the Easter eggs to own up. At first I thought maybe the younger children had taken them. I wouldn't dream that people from my own class would take something that I had organized for them but the culprit has already told us himself. Chris, what do you have to say for yourself? Sorry, I am. I just, I was worried I wouldn't get any chocolate. And I was really annoyed because you didn't like any of my artwork. So I decided I would take the chocolate for myself. I'm sorry, I didn't mean to. Chris, this, I didn't think you would like it, has got to stop. It is not a valid excuse. You know I give individual attention to everybody. The fact that you were greedy and wanted to take the chocolate for yourself is absolutely unacceptable. You would have ruined the entire Easter egg hunt for all the other children. I paid for those Easter eggs myself. You are ruining this for everybody else. Everybody else deserves a shot and everybody else the fair chance and you have jeopardized that and that is not okay. I'm sorry miss. Really, I apologize. I won't have any Easter eggs. I'm so so sorry. It's all my fault. <laughs> it's okay Chris. Don't cry. I was a little bit angry, but not anymore. Everybody can have an Easter egg. I just want you to apologize to your classmates for doing that. I'm so sorry, guys. I'm so sorry, really. Oh, it's okay. It's okay, Chris. Just please don't do that in the future. Yeah. Imagine me would have had no Easter eggs. Not cool, man. Not cool. Now, not everybody has to forgive you right now, but at least we can move on. I'm gonna go replace all the Easter eggs, so I want you to do some coloring while I'm doing that, and then we can go out and have our Easter egg hunt. Okay, I'll be right back. Okay, now that all the mishap is over and the eggs are placed in new hiding spots, so it'll be fair for everybody, Chris won't know where any of the eggs are. I'm sure he won't. I have five baskets. Your names are in each of them. So when you find an egg, you go to the basket that has your name on it, and you put it in, and at the end, you should all have equal amount of eggs. I've done it out so everyone gets at least three eggs. Okay, enjoy, and I hope you have a super fun time. This is gonna be so fun. Thank you so much, miss. And don't worry, Chris. We forgive you. We're not mad at you anymore. Thanks, Elsie. I'm sorry. I won't ever do it again. Hooray for the Easter egg hunt. Yay! Well, let's get started. Oh, oh, I think I see an egg here. Is it funny? And maybe over here. All right, everybody. I am so impressed. You have found almost every egg. But there are still two more missing. What? There's two more? I thought we got everything. Yes, I know it might be easy to think that, but actually, it's very close to you two girls. Think of something silver and special. Silver and special, silver and... Oh, yeah, the chick! The chick! Okay, let's lift it together, Ani. Three, okay. two, one. <gasps> we got Congratulations, girls. You can put a one into each of your baskets. High five, Ani. 
<laughs> this is the best Easter ever. You're right, Elsie. I love it so much. Come on, Ollie. Let's go eat our chocolate. Woohoo!